Hi everybody, boys and girls. I hope some of the parents are watching along so that you can sing along with the sing-along and uh, start to learn these songs with your children or help them learn them because you've already learned them yourself so, so many years ago. Um, we're gonna start with a little ki uh, kindergarten song and it's called Ba Ba Black Sheep. <laughs> Something's buzzing because I had my glasses sitting on the keyboard. So let's try singing it. Ba ba black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir. Three bags full. Ba ba black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir. Three bags full. One for my master and one for my dame. And one for the little boy who lives down the lane. Ba ba black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir. Three bags full. I didn't even put that up here, but that's one of the songs we're doing. We're going to do a song called The Corner Grocery Store, which I know we have done before. And I'm hoping you're going to think of some new verses and you can maybe email me a letter and tell me what other food is in the store that we didn't cover. Let's see, I've got to change the voice. Here we go. Well, remember what I did last week? <laughs> Things don't go the way I think. Just turn off the machine. Give it a chance to rethink what it's doing. And then I plug it back in again and everything will be perfect. I hope. So, here's our favorite sound. If you were to have to show me that in your hand signs, now we haven't been doing hand signs too much, uh, but it starts on Do, and it goes all the way up to So. Do, Do, So, So. What's the next highest note? La, 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 So. Then it comes right down the scale. Fa, Fa, Mi, Mi, Re, 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 Re. Let's do that again. Do, do, so, so, la, 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 so. Thumbs down for fa. Fa, fa, mi, mi, tp. Re, 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 do. Good. Practice that. That's a really good thing to practice. Okay, corner grocery store. I'm getting it confused. <laughs> oh dear, this happened when I taught it in school too. Oh, there were cheese, 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 walking on his knees at the store, at the store. Oh, there was cheese, cheese, walking on his knees at the corner grocery store. My eyes are dim, I cannot see. I have not brought my specs with me. But I have, they're right here. Oh, there was milk, milk. Playing with some silk at the store. Maybe it was making a mask for the quarantine. At the store, oh, there was milk, milk. Play sewing with some silk at the corner grocery store. My eyes are dim, I cannot see. I have not brought my specs with me. I need to get the words out because you're not here to help me. So here's my notebook. I've been doing all of these sing-alongs with my notebook helping me. My notebooks become my uh, my first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth graders, 
And maybe you're thinking of some food that we could add. I have another song. Wait till you see what we're going to do today. It's, it was very complicated. <laughs> it's something that I recorded. I have a recording device on my phone um, called GarageBand. And for those of you who have an iPhone, you have GarageBand. And if you have GarageBand, you can make your own recordings. And while I'm shuffling around with these papers, maybe um, I could play you some of what I recorded. Oh, I can't find the words. Oh, I, boys and girls, I miss you so much. It's just not nearly as fun. And it's much harder <laughs> to teach things when you're not there to respond with me. Um, so, well, maybe I'll just jump to this other thing because I don't know what I've done with those words. Let me think if I can think of another food. How about eggs walking on a leg, walking on some legs? That would work, right? We could do that. Let's do that first. Oh, there were eggs, eggs, walking on some legs at the store, at the store. Oh, there were eggs, eggs, walking on some legs at the corner grocery store. My eyes are dim, I cannot see. I have not brought my specs with me. I remember thinking when we did this in class, how many food things are hard to rhyme. Like think of radish. What would you rhyme with radish? Unless you were Jewish, you could say the Kaddish. Uh, but we don't have any Jewish kids, I don't think, in our school. Uh, bacon? There's nothing that rhymes with bacon, is there? So I don't have my little cheat sheet with me. So maybe we'll just sing the one about cheese again and we'll call it a day. Oh, there was cheese, cheese, walking on its knees at the store, at the store. There was cheese, cheese, walking on its knees at the corner grocery store. My eyes are dim, I cannot see. I have not brought my specs with me. <coughs> At the corner grocery store. We'll review that next week. Let's see. Ah, yellow is the color of my true love's hair. <coughs> we were going to do this on the auto harp. Uh, but I left it downstairs. So I'll have to stop and start over. Maybe we could do it without it. Let's do it with the guitar. So this is a really cute song from the 60s, written by a folk singer named Donovan. And I had a terrible crush on Don Donovan in those days, because he was good looking. And I loved his songs. And I especially liked this one. It's called Yellow is the Color of My True Love's Hair. And I'll sing a verse. Maybe I'll sing a couple. And then I'll teach you. So it goes yellow. Next verse is blue. Next verse is green. Yellow is the color of my true love's hair in the morning when we rise. In the morning when we rise. That's the time. That's the time. So let's work on that's the time, that's the time. Can you repeat that? That's the time, that's the time to 
that one more time. That's the time. That's the time. Right? And then the very last part of that is, I love the best. Can you sing that? I love the best. Does that phrase go up or down? Up. I love the best. Right, it goes down. I love the best. And it goes back to do. It goes back to do. Sometimes we call do the home tone. Then we'll go on to green. Green is the color of, think about it in the, in the summer. Uh, this is more of a summer song, but I won't see you in the summer, and I won't be teaching the sing-alongs in the summer, unless you really want me to. Maybe I'll do one or two. Um, so uh, imagine the corn is already tall and growing, and it's in the morning, so it has, what does it have on it? Something that sparkles. It has dew. D-E-W, do, not D-O, do, but D-E-W. Sometimes people say, do you? <laughs> yeah, you could say it like that, do. Green is the color of the sparkling corn in the morning, in the morning when we rise. Green is the color of the sparkling corn in the morning when we rise. right back to dough. Next we're gonna do blue is the color of the what? The color of the sky. So you could sing this verse already you know the tune. Blue is the color of the sky in the morning about a color it's about a feeling it's a nice feeling it's a feeling we say is mellow mellow is the feeling that I have when I'm with you yeah mellow is the feeling that I get when I see you uh -huh. when I see you last verse is about freedom. Freedom is a word I rarely use without thinking of the one I love. Forget if that's the ending words, but just follow along. Freedom. Freedom is the word I rarely use without thinking. Uh -huh. Without thinking. again. Yellow is the color. Yellow is the color of my true love's hair in the morning when we rise. In the morning when we rise. That's the time. That's the time I love the best. That's one of my favorite songs. I hope you liked it. So I'll put the guitar back on its little stand. Maybe we'll get it out again next week. Um, last week, we started learning the words to the fox song. The fox went out on a chilly night and he prayed for the moon to give him light for he'd many a mile to go that night before he reached the... Town, oh, that's right. 
So, we've gotten pretty far into the story, so um, let's sing the first part without me helping you. I'll just sing it along and you sing it with me. And then when we get to the part that we haven't worked on, we'll stop and do it line by line, okay? So, uh, oh, the fox, oh, what key? That'll make it even more fun. Second verse. Well, he ran to tell he came to the great big pen, and the ducks and the geese were kept there, and he said, one of you is going to grease my chin before I leave this town, oh, town, oh, town, oh. One of you is going to grease my chin before I leave this town. by the back, by the neck, and he threw the, ah, this is tricky. First he caught the gray goose by the neck, then he swung the duck across his back. Let's see if I can get that right, and you can get it right with me. First he caught the gray goose by the neck, then he swung the goose, duck, swung the duck all across his back, and he bit did not mind the quack, 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 the legs all dangling down, oh, down. And the legs all dangling down, oh. Then who comes up? Who sees that goose? Uh, and running away on the top of the fox. And the duck is running away with the fox. And so old mother flipper flopper jumps out of bed and here we go. Oh, old mother flipper flopper jumped out of bed and out of the window she popped her head. She cried, John, John, gray goose is gone and the fox on the town, oh, town, oh, town, no. Oh. John, John, the great goose is gone and the fox is on the town, oh. <coughs> and then John, I don't think we practiced this one, so John, he runs to the top of the hill. Sing that. And John, he runs to the top of the hill. My turn. And he blowed his horn both loud and shrill. And he blowed his horn both loud and shrill. The fox, he said, I better flee with my kill. The fox, he said, I better flee with my kill. For they'll soon be on my trail, oh, trail, oh, trail, oh. The fox, he said, I better flee with my kill. They'll soon be on my trail, oh. Let's practice that last part. The fox, he said, I better flee with my kill. Lots of little letters, and we have to use the lips, the teeth, the tip of the tongue, the lips, the teeth, the tip of the tongue, and you know all about that. The fox, he said, I better flee with my kill. Try that. The fox, he said, I better flee with my kill. Well, they'll, for they'll soon be on my trail -o. For they'll soon be on my trail -o. Let's try that whole verse. Then we'll go on to the act. There's still more. Then John, he ran to the top of the hill, and he blowed his horn both loud and shrill. The fox, he said, I better flee with my kill, for they'll soon be on my trail -o. running somewhere and this is where I sometimes get confused because the fox runs to the farm and the farmer runs to the hill so he ran wait John ran to the top of the hill and then the fox is doing some running again too and he says it says here in the story he ran till he came to his nice warm den but I learned it cozy. He ran till he came to his cozy den. Can you sing that? He ran till he came to his cozy den. That's it. 
And there were the little ones, eight, nine, ten. Can you do that? And there were the little ones, eight, nine, ten. They said, Daddy, Daddy, better go back again. Sing that. They said, Daddy, Daddy, better go back again. Why? For it must be a mighty fine town, oh, town, oh, town, oh. Daddy, Daddy, better go back again, cause it must be a mighty fine town, oh. Daddy, Daddy, better go back again. Say that. Daddy, Daddy, better go back again. And why? Cause it must be a mighty fine town, oh. Say that. For it must be a mighty fine town, oh. Let's do that whole verse now, put it all together. So now we're talking about the fox again. He ran till he came to the cozy den and the ducks and the, there were the little ones, eight, nine, ten. They said, Daddy, Daddy, better go back again. It must be a mighty fine town, oh, town, oh, town, oh. Daddy, Daddy, better go back again cause it must be a mighty fine town, oh. And then the end of the story is about the fox and his wife having dinner. Oh, they're enjoying it. Then the fox and his wife without any strife. Try that. Then the fox and his wife without any strife. What did they do? They cut up the goose with a fork and a knife. They cut up the goose with a fork and a knife. And they never had such a supper in their life. And they never had such a supper in their life. Supper in their life. Can you clap that rhythm? That's a lot of T-T-T-T-Ta. T-T-T-T-Ta. Let's clap that one more time. Ready and go. Supper in their life. Ooh, that was good. Nice and clean. Good job. Uh, they never had such a supper in their life. And what did the little ones chew on? The little ones chewed on the bones. Oh, sing that. And the little ones chewed on the bones. Oh, and then it goes up. Bones. Oh, bones. Oh, they never had such a supper in their life. And the little ones chewed on the bones. Oh, so we're going to do the whole last verse. And then next week we'll sing the whole darn song. Then the fox and his wife, without any strife, they cut up the goose with a fork and a knife, and they never had such a supper in their life. The little ones chewed on the bones, oh, bones, oh, bones, oh. They never had such a supper in their life, and the little ones chewed on the bones, oh. <laughs> Thank you for singing that with me. Great, great story. Really fun song to sing. Uh, let's see what's on our list. So we've done Corner Grocery Store. We did Yellow is the Color. Oh, here comes the hard one. All right, here's what I did. Last week we started learning a Ram Sam Sam, and I only taught you the first half. So now I'm gonna, pardon me, teach you the other half. So I have my iPad. <laughs> Here's a picture of me swimming in the pool. Whoops, it's gone. And so I pre-recorded some of the tracks. So I'm going to let you listen to the first track that I play. I I um, tried to do. I decided to try a drum track. So here's what that sounds like. Feel that steady beat. Okay. So, now I'm going to play the vocal part. So I recorded the song. I'm going to add that. Go back to the beginning. And you'll see that it'll light up also. Aram Sam Sam, Aram Sam Sam, Gully 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 Ram Sam Sam, Aram Sam Sam, Aram Sam Sam, Gully 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 Ram Sam Sam, Arami Arami, Gully 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 Ram Sam Sam, Arami Arami, Gully 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 Ram Sam Sam, Aram Sam Sam, Aram Sam Sam, Gully 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 Ram Sam Sam, Aram Sam Sam, Aram Sam Sam. Sam, 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 Sam,
Okay, so now we have two things going on. But then, uh, before we do the next part, I'm going to teach you the second half of the song. After you go, uh, da 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 da, gooly 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 ram sam sam, and it goes up and it sings, um, arafi. Is that what it is? Arafi, arafi. Can you sing that for me? And it, it would be really cool if you could roll your R. Now, rrr, here's what a rolling R is. The tongue is right behind the front teeth, rrr, and you let it vibrate. Rrr, arr, if you're from a Latino family or you know a bunch of people who speak Spanish, probably you know how to do the rrr. So try to do that. Arrafi, arrafi. Sing that once again. Arrafi, arrafi. Then the next part is the same as the ghoulie part, same words but a different note. Ghoulie, 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 ram, sam, sam. Try that. Ghoulie, 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 ram, sam, sam. Let me do that whole phrase and then I'll sing it again while you sing it with me. Arafi, arafi, ghoulie, 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 ram, sam, sam. Arafi, arafi, ghoulie, 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 ram, sam, sam. Oh, and then it goes back to the beginning. Now, this is what we call a round. Now I'm gonna go back to the beginning and this time I'm gonna play the second part. And you'll notice that it comes in later than the first part, but it's the same exact melody. It's no different. Here it comes. Oh, it starts right over again. Now, I thought it might be fun for you to hear what it would sound like while I was recording. So I'm going to choose a different sound on the keyboard. Uh, let's try this one. That's a very synthesizer-y sound. How about this one? No, I don't like that one. Let's try this. No. Nope. I like the first one. We're going to stick with that. Okay, I'm going to play the melody with the first group. So this is the first group when we heard it. Don't worry about the drums. They're the one in, in yellow. This is the first group here. They start first. So I'm going to copy that melody but it'll show up down here, okay? So you listen and see if I play it right. <laughs> so I have to add another track. So there's a little button in my program that says I can add another track, and I'm adding a track that is a vocal recorder because I'm not plugging anything in, I'm just doing it live. Um, and then I'm gonna hit the back button And when I hit the back button, it takes me to these tra the track window, and I can see all the different tracks. How many tracks do I have now? I have four, and I'm gonna add one more. So I added, I put a little thing like that, and now I have to lo actually look at it. <laughs> I'm gonna add, they have a lot of different options. So I'm adding audio recorder. I thought I already did this, but maybe not. Voice. So even though it's not a voice I'm using, I'm using the synthesizer, it's gonna record as if it were a voice. Uh, and here we go. I'm gonna go back to the track window 
and oh I have to put my headphones on because it makes too much noise for me to oh so you you'll be able to hear the keyboard but you won't be able to hear the other instruments that are on the program have you ever seen this before it's really fun it's very complicated and it's really hard to use but every so often I fool around with it it's kind of fun okay I'm gonna press record and I'm gonna do like that Okay, so I recorded that, and now we can listen to it again and see if that added track made it sound a little more interesting. And I could just keep adding tracks and adding. I could add more drums if I wanted. I don't think I do, but I could. So, oh, see it. Oh, I don't hear it. Oh. Do you hear it? And that's that. I thought you might have fun with that today. Uh, so uh, hopefully you were singing along. And uh, when we get back to school together, oh my gosh, look at my hair. <laughs> we can play around with this once in a while. It's, it's very complicated and it takes a lot of time to set it up because I'm not used to using it too much. But it, it really is quite amazing what you can do. Now, it's, our time is up basically. Uh, we did the fox. We didn't do peanut butter. Let's do that just for fun. And that'll be our last song today. It's a really nice day. I'm, I'm doing this on Tuesday afternoon, and the sky is blue, and the lake is beautiful, and people are mowing their lawns again, like it's actually going to be spring, which is so lovely. And pretty soon, there's a flower that's going to come out. Out in my yard, I have a gazillion of them, and some people think they're kind of like weeds, but I love them. They're called Lily of the Valley, and next week we're gonna learn a song about Lily of the Valley. A couple of weeks ago, I talked about if you have a hula hoop, you should bring it to class, um, and we'll do the song that uses the hula hoop. And if you don't have a hula hoop, bring masking tape. Masking tape and uh, a handkerchief or some, any small something that you can pick up easily and raise over your head and put back on the floor. So it could be a hanky, it could be a napkin, something like that. So two things, either a hula hoop or masking tape. I have my masking tape here somewhere. Masking tape, your folks know what I'm talking about. You probably do too. Masking tape uh, and or a hula hoop and something that you can pick up easily and drop on the floor again, like a napkin, okay? All right, let's get the arms in the air, stretch up. Ooh, ooh, it feels so good to stretch. You've probably been inside too much this whole month, two months. And let's sing. Peanut, peanut butter, 
jelly. Peanut, peanut butter, jelly. First you take the peanuts and you dig them, you dig them, you dig them, dig them, dig them, then you crush them, you crush them, you crush them, crush them, crush them, then you spread them, you spread them, you spread them, spread them, spread them. Peanut, peanut butter, jelly. Peanut, peanut butter, jelly. Then you take the berries and you pick them, you pick them. You pick them, pick them, pick them, then you crush them. You crush them, you crush them, crush them, crush them, then you spread them. You spread them, you spread them, spread them, spread them. Peanut, peanut butter, jelly. Peanut, peanut butter, jelly. Then you take the sandwich and you bite it. You bite it. You bite it, bite it, bite it, then you swallow. Mm, you swallow. Mm, swallow, swallow, swallow. Then you munch it. Mm -hmm. You munch it. You munch it, munch it, munch it. Then you swallow. Mm, swallow. Mm, swallow, swallow, swallow. All right, boys and girls, that's all we're going to do for today. Um, you know, you can watch the first thing along. And look at all these songs that we've sung. Cinco Pata, On Top of Old Smokey, My Aunt Came Back. All these different things. So uh, you don't have to just watch this one class. You can watch all of them again and again and again. Learn them all. Learn all these fabulous songs. And I'll see you again next week. Have a great week, boys and girls. I love you and I miss you and I can't wait to see you again. Bye-bye.